Okay. So how many of you know the meaning of solitude? Would you like to elaborate? Yes. State of being alone. Okay. You are the same. Okay. Good afternoon everyone. My name is Mansha and today I am going to deliver a speech on embracing solitude. Discovering inner peace in a busy world. So the first question is what is solitude? Solitude refers to a state of being alone or isolated from others. It voluntary or intentional state where individuals deliberately choose to spend time alone away from social interaction. It is distinct from loneliness. Solitude is a means of finding inner peace. By embracing a moment of solitude, individuals can cultivate a deeper understanding of themselves, their values and their purpose in life. So let me explain you in a funny way. Imagine solitude as your personal vocation from humanity. It is like booking a solo trip to an imaginary island called Me Land, where the only eat in the item is do whatever the heck you want. No tourist trap, no group selfies, it's just you, your thoughts and maybe a coconut with a funny face drawn on it for company. It's like being the VIP guest to the world's most exclusive party, the party of one. And trust me, the only awkward small talk you'll have is with yourself. So let's consider a real life example of Sarah, a young professional who fills every moment of her life with social activities, work commitment and digital distraction. Instead of facing an inner struggle, she seeks constant distraction whether through social media, television or busy schedule. As a result, Sara avoidance of solitude begins to take a toll on her mental and emotional well-being. Without the opportunity for self-reflection and introspection that solitude provides, Sara remains trapped in a cycle of busyness and distraction. She feels she experiences heightened level of stress, anxiety, and she also finds it challenging to communicate openly. So if you don't want to be like Sara, you should apply solitude in your life. And do you know, successful individuals often find solace in solitude. They understand during these moments of quiet reflection, their, their potential is unlocked. It doesn't mean that they don't have friends, it just means they know the power of deliberate isolation. The efforts they make in skipping the clubs or distancing themselves from the crowd are all in the name of chasing their aspiration. They also use this period to focus on their dreams, their goals and their personal growth. So the next time you see someone with just few close friends, remember it's not a lack of connection but a deliberate choice to cultivate a circle that supports their success. And now I want to conclude my speech by saying that embracing solitude is not just a philosophical concept but a practical approach to life. It encourages individuals to find solace in their own company and use solitude as a catalyst for personal growth, self-realization, creativity and find your purpose in life. Thank you.